This video will show you some of the toaster features in the 2.1 release of the Yocto project. Out of the box, you can of course build the latest stable Yocto project release, 2.1, but you can also choose to build the 2.0 release, or even the master branch. All this without cloning any additional Git repositories. Once you have decided which release of the Yocto project you will use for your builds, you can browse, search, and choose from the list of hardware available for your chosen release. You can browse available recipes and existing images and build any of them with ease. You can also browse existing layers and add any of them to your project without having to edit any configuration files. Toaster knows about dependencies between layers and handles them for you. Clicking a layer name shows you additional details about the selected layer, including where the Git repository is hosted, which machines it supports and which recipes it provides. If you have your own custom layers that you would like to build with Toaster, you can import them. Building this way might be helpful to some, but if you are one of those people who love the command line, feel free to start your builds as you usually do. Toaster will pick up any builds to start from your terminal and group them together inside a special project we have called Command Line Builds. That way, you can benefit from the data Toaster collects and displays about the build process without having to change your workflow. The data Toaster collects about your builds includes image files and log files, both of which you can download. It also includes an image view that shows you which packages have been installed in your image, its directory structure, and file contents. You can click a package name to see additional information, including the files produced by the package and the package dependencies. You can easily navigate the dependency chain between packages or check out which recipe produced the package. For recipes, Toaster shows you its layer, where the source file is located, the list of packages it produces, and its build dependencies. Toaster also stores information about variables and their history. Bitbait tasks, and some build performance information. But building one of these stock images is probably not what you're here for. Most likely, you want to modify that image to suit your needs by adding and removing packages. Toaster allows you to do that without setting any variables by hand or editing any configuration files. Simply choose the image you'd like to use as your starting point, save it with a new name, and search for the packages you want to add. Toaster stores package dependency information and so it's able to give you a good estimate of what other packages will be installed through the dependency chain. Once you're done, you can build your custom image and download its recipe file to incorporate into your own layer. Instructions on how to install and use Toaster are available in the Toaster manual. And if you have any questions, back reports or feature requests, get in touch with us.